people when they're starting their leadership journeys will look uh, deeply inside themselves and that's appropriate. You need to, a lot of introspection needed for leadership, uh, for the role of leadership. Without, without vision there is no leadership, there can be no leadership. So I would encourage anybody who, who's struggling with the leadership process to spend as much time as possible as they can on the, on the vision. Where are you trying to take people? What is it that you're trying to achieve? When I was struggling with the source of this vision, with trying to come up with a vision, I found it helped to, to simplify the question. And for me, there are two places where vision arises. I'm either asked to do something. I'm asked by a group of people because they need something done. And that's great because if I agree and I share that goal with them, we already have a bond and we've got a, a shared sense of vision. There are equally times when I see that something needs to be done and I try and enlist other people and if they agree, again, we've got a shared sense of, of, of journey, of direction, of, of, of purpose. And so keeping it that simple, I, I think, is, is helpful. The vision thing can often become a huge and uh, complex, books are written on the vision thing. My question is more along the lines of what needs to be done now? How will you bring people together and where will you take them? The source of the vision then comes from exactly where you are right now. You don't have to go out and hunt for one. In fact, I would suggest if there isn't something that needs to be done, don't try and create something. Nothing worse than a false sense of mission or a false sense of purpose. But if there is something to be done, if there is a problem in your team or a problem in your division or a problem in your company, then the next question is, do you choose to take responsibility for that? And are you going to try and do something about it? The kind of qualities of a decent vision are that they're going to be bigger than you. You know, it's not about something that you can sort out entirely on your own. Then it's not a leadership issue, it's just a task. If there's something that needs the help of a lot of other people, that you need to enlist them, that's already got the first makings of a, of a good vision. It's going to have a sense of purpose. It should tie into why the company exists or why your team exists or why your division exists. There should be some sense of values, that there's some moral imperative both in what needs to be done and how you're going to go about it. So you know, we're going to do this thing, we're going to do it together and we're going to do it fairly and honestly. It's the kind of, of qualities of a vision. There's a lot of debate about whether the goals inside the vision should be hard goals or soft goals. It should be you know, make the 200 billion dollar budget or make people in my world happy. Personally, I don't think it matters either way. I think what's really important is who must the vision speak to. So don't, don't talk about soft issues to hard numbers people and don't talk about too many hard numbers to soft issues people. And as long as you've, you've got that kind of balance right, you can pick up a vision where you are now, you can start engaging with a community of people to move in that direction now and leadership will immediately emerge, you'll begin to be tested as a leader.